Good morning, students. Today, I wanted to show you how to fill out a Frere model. I'm sure you've done it in the past in other classes, but I bet you have never done it virtually. So I'm gonna show you how to use Google Slides and fill out the Frere model. I'm gonna give you all the tips and tricks to make this a successful assignment for you and one in which you will learn your vocabulary for this unit. It will be awesome and I can't wait to see your Frere models. Here we go. Good morning, students. Today I'm going to show you how to fill out and complete a Frere model with your vocabulary words. A Frere model is a great strategy that we use to help us learn vocabulary words. And you've probably done this in a face-to-face -face classroom, but you've never probably done it virtually. So I wanna show you how to do this in Google Slides so you can have a successful assignment uh, in our class. Okay, here we go. The first one, or the first rectangle, as you can see, is definition. And we are defining the vocabulary word, which is in the center circle, mechanical energy. So first off, we have to find the definition. So where can I find the definition? I can definitely find it in my notes that we took in class about the different forms of energy. I can also go to Quizlet or other places to find that definition. So I'm gonna throw, scroll through the words really fast and I find mechanical energy. I turn it over and I see that it's the energy of motion. I also remember Miss Bright saying something about moving parts. Hmm. So I'm gonna go back to my Google slide, my Frere model, and in the definition area, I'm going to write mechanical energy is the energy in motion with moving parts. Mechanical energy is the energy in motion with moving parts. How about I take that V out? <laughs> perfect, you can make your sentence perfect. Mechanical energy is energy in motion with moving parts. That's what I remember from class. Okay, the next one, the next rectangle is a picture. So we have to put a picture in our Frere model that helps us to remember what mechanical energy is. Hmm, I remember Miss Bright talking about a bicycle, because a bicycle has moving parts. It has the chain, it has the pedals, and of course the wheels that turn round and round. So how do I get a picture of a bicycle there? Well, you're gonna go up into the area right above your Frere model, and you're gonna find a little square that has a mountain range in it, and you're gonna click on it. It says insert image. You are going to go down to search the web to find that image, and you're gonna type bicycles, in the search bar, and you're gonna see what pictures come up. Here's a whole bunch of bicycles in a row. That will work. Now, when it inserts into my Frere model, it's way too big. I need to make it smaller. So to make it smaller, I can come down to the corner of the picture. Any of the corners will help you resize the image. And you can see that my cursor changes into an arrow when I get in exactly the right spot. And then I'm going to hold my mouse down, and then pull that picture slowly to a smaller size. Now I can drag and drop that picture to the rectangle that I need it in, in my Frere model. So that is an example of mechanical energy, perfect. Now the rectangle at the bottom is an example of mechanical energy. I can definitely write my answer there. I can say an example, An example of mechanical energy is a Ferris wheel. Now I had to move around a little bit so my words didn't go into the circle, and you can definitely do that too by hitting the return or enter button. So an example of mechanical energy is a Ferris wheel. Now if I want to make it really awesome, I can even add a picture in this spot. So I can go back to my little square that's got a mountain in it that says insert image. I can search the web in my search box, I can put Ferris wheel, and I can find a picture of a Ferris wheel that has a lot of moving parts, which makes it an example of mechanical energy. Awesome. And again, I'm going to resize it to fit that rectangle. Yay. 
Now I also have to have a non-example of mechanical energy. Hmm, a non-example of, me of mechanical energy. So that would be something that's not doing any work. Hmm. So I can write in here. What is an object doing no work? How about a cup on a desk? Oh, let me be more specific. An empty cup on a desk. Because if we had hot cocoa or coffee in that cup, that would be an example of thermal energy. But no, we want an empty cup on a desk, not moving, not working. <laughs> that is my non-example of mechanical energy. I can also add a picture here to make it most, uh, most awesome. I say most awesome too much, and I don't think that's proper English, so I apologize. <laughs> but we like making our Frere models beautiful. So here I'm going to put cup on a desk. Let's see what images we can see. I want an empty cup on a desk, not a cup of coffee, coffee on a desk. Hmm, this one kind of looks empty. So I am going to again resize that image and have it fit right in our Frere model. Now I have a great way to learn and to study vocabulary by looking at this Frere model. I know that mechanical energy is energy in motion with moving parts. A picture of mechanical energy, of course, is a bicycle. An example of mechanical energy is a Ferris wheel with all of its moving parts. And a non-example of mechanical energy is an empty cup on a desk. This is an awesome way for you to learn your vocabulary. Now remember, if you ever put something on there or do something and you're like, wait, I wasn't supposed to do that. Maybe I wanna get rid of that coffee cup. All I have to do is go up here to the top left, right by that plus sign, and there's an undo button. When I hit the undo button, it's going to undo my last, the last thing I did on the slide. So you can make it perfect. Okay, I think you've got this. I think you're gonna make a great Frere model and you are going to learn your vocabulary. And that's what I want you to do. See, you've got this. You know how to create awesome Frere models and learn your vocabulary at the same time. You are a great virtual learner. I can't wait to see the finished product. Until tomorrow, bye.